Okay, I've got the radio put back together. As you can see right here. And the first thing that I'm going to do, all I'm going to do is tweak this up because the radio really performs pretty well the way it should. So I'm just going to tweak the alignment. Uh, basically getting the dial more accurate. And the first thing I do is make sure that the pointer is about equal distance. Remember that part right there. Okay. That's about the same. So it's already there. Like I said, this radio really doesn't need much done to it. So the next thing I'm going to do, since it's equal distance here and here, is put it back into the cabinet. And I know that there's a local station here. about in the middle of the dial. Let's see if you can see that. Let me tilt this up a little bit. About 850. Okay, so this would be 100, that's 90. So 850 would be right there. Okay, now I'm not going to move that. Being careful not to move that setting. Okay, move all these wires out of the way so I can get to it. Oops, the speaker wire came off. Okay, speaker wires back on. And you can see that this variable capacitor is for the speaker, because you can see the wire go right to it. That makes this the oscillator. Okay. Now, as far as setting it physically, we got it set up so the dial reads 850. So let me turn on power. And turn up the volume. Okay, that's 815. And it's just a little bit off. So what we want to do is adjust this. I think that's too thick. Yeah. Oh, wrong way. applications for the 2013 Pinnacle Business Awards. Judged by a panel of these prestigious awards give your business the recognition it deserves. Winners will be announced at an awards luncheon on May 29th. For a list of awards, applications, and criteria, visit Okay. Now, the oscillator is set to 850, and this is set to 850 on the dial. Okay, now the next thing is I'm going to find a weak station. It works. Oh, going the wrong. Well, let's see. Got the volume up. There's a weak station. Let's go live 
And I'm going to There we go. I'm going to turn this. Okay. That's right where it was. Okay, well, I didn't move these much, and I actually think I put them back the way they, they were, and there is, of course, whoops. That comes from the exhaustion that is brought on by another adjustment on the other side, but since these were so close, I'm not going to bother. Okay. Now, if I can put this in without pulling off any speaker wires, we'll put this back into the box again. That is 62, 680, 850, so the dial is now accurate. Okay, it's a little weak on the high end. Dial's accurate. The eye of Ken seemed to be good. Now I've got this thing on an isolation transformer. And if you're new to this, I would turn off power every time you took this in and out. But it's safe for me to do this because I have it on an isolation transformer and I am not touching anything else. Okay, we've got this on a weak station. Let's adjust the antenna. And I've got it on a weak station on the high side. Oh, went too far.
Okay, that is peak the antenna response. Okay. Let me put this back in the box again. There we go. Life, the HHS mandate, the late term abortion, the situation with uh, this uh, so called. Throughout history, scholars, theologians, and yep. anthropologists have argued about the true nature of the sin nature. Or do we take sin upon us over time? The prevailing conviction, even among many Christians, is that man is born basically well-intentioned and good. How could an innocent baby... Air Force Reserve, estos son los valores centrales. Los valores por los que vive cada miembro del Air Force. Well, that's about it. Well, what I need to do now is clean up the case. Okay, I think we're done with this radio. Of course, if you wanted to do a complete alignment, that information is right here in the documentation. But in my opinion, this radio didn't really need to do a full alignment, although there's nothing wrong with doing a full alignment. Let's turn this back on. And tune it to station here. That doesn't make sense. The only thing that comes to mind when I think of synchronized swimming is uh, that scene in Caddyshack. There we go. Doesn't look like anybody's been in it. Looks like it came from the factories sometime in the mid 50s. Oh, actually, early 50s. I think this is 4950. Thanks for watching.